My name is Coleman Bailey. I am a science teacher at D.H. Conley High School. I enjoy being a teacher because I like making the connections to make them understand what they're doing now helps them to achieve what they want to do later. My name is Tim Peden. I am a deputy sheriff with the Pitt County Sheriff's Office. I really do enjoy uh, protecting and serving the public, being able to actually uh, help some kids get their life back on track. I have MS. And I have MS. Uh, the very first thing I noticed was I was out running with my cross country team like I used to a lot. And it wasn't because I wasn't in shape, I just started getting extremely fatigued after I was exercised. And, and that was kind of the onset of the disease for me. My first reaction when I got diagnosed was, um, and it's taken me several years to get over that, was to become a workaholic. I was convinced that I was not going to let this disease become the best of me. So I started putting every bit of energy I had and to my job and to the students at the school just because I, was, I wanted to beat the odds. I wanted to prove that this disease was not slowing me down at all. Started having symptoms uh, last year uh, riding around my patrol cruiser and going through many of doctors and a lot of uh, different opinions I finally uh, had to go out of work in May 26 and I stayed out six months and the first month I was out I finally got diagnosed with MS. It affected my family. Uh, when I first found out I had MS uh, I really thought my career was ended. Um, I really I thought that you know um, my family life was really going to be shattered, but since then I've learned to change things. You have to learn how to manage your symptoms. There are times of the day um, that I'm stronger than others, and what I mean by stronger, um, I, I love writing my notes on the board. However, as fatigue occurs, sometimes as the day goes on, it is harder for me. And so I actually figure out a way to modify my teaching so I can still give my kids the exciting instruction I want them to have without the feeling like the disease is affecting me there. Uh, in addition to being fatigued, a lot of times I get um, what's called caping, which is um, as my day goes on, I basically lose sensation on the back half of my body and I have to physically concentrate on where I put my feet to make sure I don't catch my toe um, when I'm walking. I know my limitations. Um, probably fatigue is one of the biggest things I go through. I'm back to work, I'm assigned as an office deputy, I take walking complaints, but I know my limitations. Probably one of the hardest things for me to deal with was actually uh, being out six months and being used to getting up every morning um, fighting crime and then it's, it's gone. There are a lot of treatments going on with MS right now. Um, Ten years ago I got put on what was thought of a new medication or experimental medication and, and that has been very successful with me. And so um, uh, the lesions that are on my MRIs and, and, and uh, have all but stopped. Um, and I honestly feel if it was not for the medication that I'm on, uh, they would continue their growth. I guess in the last couple of years, I've even started noticing when things are kind of going in a certain direction. And so I can kind of start to adjust my schedule to either try to prevent a flare from occurring or so my life can continue if I have to go get myself taken care of.
there's some new drugs on the market. There's a new oil drug on the market now. But, um, my drug that I've been on for seven months, I, I can tell that it's helping me. Um, it's slowing down um, my relapses. I've only had one in the last six months. But there's, there's a lot of drugs on the market, a lot of research being done trying to improve uh, MS research now. Under, under stress, um, I, I just know my limitations as far as what I can do. Um, and I, I try to modify my, my eating habits and my, my health for that. Probably one of the first things that I went turned to was the National MS Society because uh, they had a lot of literature and publications. And being involved with the MS Society, um, I got involved with the uh, MS Walk. I'm now I'm an ambassador for the National MS Society, and I do talks on the positive side of MS. Um, on the MS Walk, we're getting uh, trying to bring awareness to get more teams involved to walk. Where I work at Sheriff's Point, we have a team called Team Blue Line, which is anybody in law enforcement can walk on our team, or, or even in the public. I have a, a group of students who formed a team called Mr. Bailey's Buddies, and, um, and they participate in the MS Walk. Um, I, last year, I think it was about 50, about 50 Conley students went and walked in it on my behalf. Um, I think the thing that makes me feel, that gives me the strength to continue on in my job is the, the product of what I'm doing. When I see young men and young women want to be an active part of their community, such as participate in the MS Walk, it gives me the strength to keep going day and day that I do. Having MS, it makes you feel good when you see other people support you. And speaking for a lot of other people, you know, when the community comes out and joins together, corporations to support MS um, victims and their families as a whole, uh, it, it makes you feel good as a person, not only just a person that has MS, but um, with families. Another reward I have in teaching, um, sorry. I used to question a lot. I, I, I used to question a lot about why I had this disease. And last couple of years, when I teach students whose parents are recently diagnosed with MS, and the last couple of years has finally given me a a why I might have to particularly had to deal with this, which is something for the first four years that I was battling this disease, all I could think of was how my life was going to change, how my wife and I were not going to have the future that we thought. Um, she was several months pregnant with my daughter, my, our second child when I got diagnosed, and it just seemed like nothing was falling in place. And now I can honestly look back on it and have been able to reassure students that when your parents get diagnosed of MS, that it is going to be okay, that there is medication in place. We know so much more about the disease than we used to, and that, um, and I like being there for them for that. To me, I wake up every day and my, my slogan I say in my head is, I have MS, the MS doesn't have me. When you have MS, your life's not over. There is a positive side of it. You can be a positive encouragement to someone else. You lose some things and you gain other. I, I got more perspective on life in general, um, the time you have with your family, um, the quality of life that you have. It could be time well spent.